Good day everyone, welcome to another discussion of reliability tests. This time we'll be talking about equivalent forms for measure of equivalence using prison R or prison product moment correlation. Normally we call this parallel forms reliability. So if we go back to our discussion of uh, type of reliability measures, we have measure of stability, measure of equivalence, uh, measure of stability and equivalence and measure of internal consistency. In today's discussion, we'll be talking about equivalent forms um, using the statistical measure person R. So the procedure uh, is to simply give uh, parallel forms of the test at the same time between uh, forms. So in my example, find out if the test is reliable using parallel form method administered to 30 students which are divided into two equal groups. The first group will answer form A and the second group will answer form B. So the results are as follows. So you notice this column is the um, x variable wherein it's the score of the first group and uh, this column form B is the y variable wherein it's the score of the second group. So the total respondents here are 30, but uh, since it's a paired scores, your n should be 15. So we'll be using this formula, person product moment correlation, where n is the number of paired scores, x is the score of the first group, y is the score of the second group, and uh, we have here the summation of x, y, Okay, so we add all this, and this is the sum of the product of the paired scores. We also have summation of uh, x. It's the sum of the scores of x. Uh, summation of y is the sum of the y scores. And then we have the summation of x squared. It's the sum of the squared x uh, scores and the uh, summation of y squared is the sum of the squared y scores. We'll also be using the interpretation wherein uh, if we have the result uh, of zero, that's uh, a zero correlation. Um, the maximum uh, result could be 0.99, uh, that's a very high correlation, or we can round it up to one, that's a perfect uh, correlation or perfect positive correlation. So, um, I just would like to shout out to uh, Miss uh, Kimberly Ballesteros, one of my students, who actually uh, uh, sent me a picture of her solution in our previous uh, example about reliability tests. So, um, she did it well. The result, the R value is com uh, correct. She computed it correctly. So. One thing that you have to understand in mathematics or in uh, statistical measure, uh, if you are new to it, you have to write it down because mathematics or statistics is actually visual. You have to see it so you can see the patterns. Okay, so uh, shout out to you, Kimberly. Going back to our discussion. So we are uh, about to test the reliability of uh, uh, the result of uh, 30 students which are divided into two equal groups again this is parallel form liability and we'll be using person r so um under this column x squared we simply square the score under uh, this column the uh, x variable so this is uh, equals press equal sign click this cell that's b12 multiplied to itself that s that's asterisk and then click the cell b12 again then press enter okay so this is 6400 then uh, copy the formula drag the cursor once it changes to uh, this uh, small uh, uh, cross drag it until the fifth or the 15th uh, pair so there you go. Those are the x squared. And for y squared, 
same process press equal sign uh, click this cell c12 so multiply it to itself c12 again then press enter then drag the formula down notice the change of the cursor to that small black cross and then drag the formula and then there you go that's the y squared and we get the product of x and y so let's press equal sign click uh, this cell and uh, asterisk and then click this cell c12 so we are multiplying 80 and 81 so if you press enter the result should be 6480 so drag the formula okay so we are done with the squared x the squared y and the product of x and y okay we now get the summation so we add uh, this column press equals then look for sum okay and then we choose this uh, result until the 15th result press enter and this is our result so we do the same for um, the uh, y column the x uh, squared column the y squared column and the xy column so we simply drag the formula notice again the change my cursor okay I'm having a problem here it's possible that it's because of this let me just pull that down okay there you go All right so let me put this back and the other one okay so I'm complete with my uh, uh, result I already have the summations of what I need so I'm going to use the formula we have n n is 15 that's the number of uh, pairs of scores that's n so that's 15 okay this is also 15 this is also 15 so in my presentation, I actually prepared um, this uh, this area so I could uh, present it, present it to you in a proper way, wherein it's actually organized. Okay, so I have here summation of x y. This is seventy nine thousand hundred forty two. Then summation of x is uh, 1070 summation of y is 1094 and uh, summation of x or summation of x squared rather this one that's 77520 okay and then I go to summation of x and that is being squared so I copy summation of x that's 1070 okay next summation of y squared this is without the parenthesis so summation of y squared is 80,874 okay and then summation of y that's 1094 okay so I'm ready to use my calculator okay so let me start with the numerator this is 15, uh, 15 times 79,142 minus 1070 multiplied to 1094 so I'm going to input all these values uh, on the numerator uh, to my calculator. So that's 15 
times 79,142 minus 1,070 multiplied to 1,094. Enter. So I have a result of 16,550. So this is 16,000. Let me uh, undo that. That's 16,550. Okay. Now let me proceed to my denominator. I'll uh, compute uh, this first bracket uh, first. So I have 15 times 77,520 minus 1,070 and that is squared. Okay. Enter. My result is 17,900. 17,900. Then I go to the next. Next bracket. I have 15,000 times 80,874 minus 1,000. 94 squared and let's enter um, my result is 16,274 16,274 okay so I'm ready to compute this uh, result so my numerator is 16,550 divided by the square root let me look at the uh, square root and then that's 17,900 so again 16,550 divided by the square root of the product of 17,900 and 16,274 okay press enter my result is 0 0.969 rounded off to two decimal place that would be 0 0.97 okay so my r value is within this range from 0 to 0 0.99 or 0 to 1 and uh, the interpretation is very high so i have here a prepared interpretation Okay, so the R value is 0.97, denotes a very high positive correlation, hence this test, this uh, teacher made test is highly reliable. Okay, so again this is a reliability test using parallel form reliability. Thank you for watching.